Okay, so this is my radar detector setup. I've got a Valentine V1 up here, hardwired into my BMW. I also have the remote displayed in here. Um, it's gonna be, this is what happens when I turn it on. We get the standard uh, setup up here. It's programmed to just do two bands, like I like it right now. But uh, I have some problems in that lately. While it works right now to start out with, it, usually after a couple of minutes it just dies now I don't know why um, but I do know what caused the problem so it got dropped a little while ago and it started freaking out so ever since that drop it's not something I can really reliably use so today I'm gonna tear it apart we'll find out what's in the inside so here we go okay so this is the Valentine one radar detector it's been really good for me I've had it for several years um, but as I mentioned, it got dropped, and once it dro was dropped, it hasn't been working reliably. I'll put power to it, and then it'll it'll work for a little bit, and then it shorts out or something. You can hear it. Hear the rattling inside? That's probably a good indicator there's something wrong. So we're going to take it apart today, see what's inside. Might as well, because I can't trust it right now. Not the Valentine's fault, just because it was busted. So first is I'm taking off the suction cups. Those come off the top. Tuck, tuck. Bottom here we have one, two, three, four torque screws. And let's see which torque it is. I think it is a seven. This is the one I'm gonna use. So let's open it up, see what it looks like in there. Yeah, right, there we go. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna move the camera to the other side. There we go. Just pried it. I was just prying it there by the power jack. Okay, here's the interior. There's the top plate. Top. Okay. I still hear something rattling. But it sounds like it's beneath this. So let's see what we can do to. Pulling this shroud off. Interesting. You know, I sort of thought that I'd see a sensor back there, like an LED or something. It is just like a funnel. Okay, anyway, there's that lens. I just slid that off. Interesting. Okay, so on the back, underneath that plate, we have another one of those big metal tubes. And then here we have a optic of some sort. I imagine this is the laser detector. Okay. Okay. There we go. So this is the lower casing. Nothing in there. Right now I'm looking for solders that look like they're fractured or something. There's some, still some rattling in there. I don't see where it is yet. That's some pieces of junk that came out. I can't tell what they are. They sort of look like plastic. They sort of don't. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch of these. Okay, I'm gonna put the thing in my hand. I'll give you a close-up view. Okay, so this is it without its shroud on it. The front had uh, this empty tube thingy. 
See a metal wire looks like crossing the bottom there. The part that faces forward on the car, same thing except bigger. Metal wire and then your laser detector, I'm sure, is that. And you can still hear there's something rattling in there. There's got uh, there's a separation here between the circuit boards. I may not rip those apart because I don't want to absolutely destroy the thing. And then you see attachments here. So in the general scheme of things, this is what your rear detector looks like. This has its detector. This thing is just for the switch. This is attached by a ribbon. And there you go. I want to turn on some light, but that's what it looks like. Not looking for bad solders or things that have maybe have failed over time but I'm not seeing it right offhand. There we go, that's what it looks like.